In this video, I'd like to explain what the so-called common ion effect is and how it affects the solubility of precipitates. The common ion, as it applies to precipitates, is when one of the ions in the precipitate is deliberately added to the precipitate in water. So for example, here we have iron 3 sulfide precipitate in water, and the equilibrium is shown with the chemical equation, and we could deliberately add either iron 3 ion or sulfide ion. These are the common ions. What effect does adding either one of these common ions have on the solubility of the precipitate? Well, the results of adding four different compounds to this precipitate in water are shown. In one case, iron nitrate was added, or iron 3 nitrate, and it shows that this decreased the solubility. Well, why is that? Well, if iron 3 is added to the precipitate in water, adding iron 3 ion, it will drive the equilibrium backwards, as is shown in the equation. Therefore, reducing the amount of sulfide and iron available in solution, forming more solid. If potassium sulfide is added, the same outcome is achieved. Adding sulfide drives the equilibrium in the reverse direction, forming more solid, causing the precipitate to be less soluble. Adding potassium acetate has no effect because neither potassium nor acetate are common ions. And the same thing with ammonium nitrate. Neither one are common ions. Although in the case of ammonium nitrate, ammonium NH4 plus is a weak acid, and the sulfide ion is a weak base. And there is a small amount of acid-base neutralization between the sulfide and the ammonium ion. So one could argue that this could in fact increase the solubility of the precipitate by driving the equilibrium in the forward direction, and that the sulfide is being pulled out of solution by the reaction between the ammonium and the sulfide. But that effect is pretty negligible because ammonium is a weak acid and sulfide is a weak base. Although if a strong acid were added, such as HCl or nitric acid, HNO3, one could argue that the solubility of iron sulfide would increase because the sulfide is being pulled out of solution by the neutralization of the acid, therefore driving the equilibrium forward, further dissolving or increasing the solubility of the solid. Here is a bit more of an explanation on the effect of adding an acid, in this case, to the precipitate iron sulfide in water. If a strong acid is added, that will have a much greater effect on the concentration of sulfide. Sulfide, again, is a weak base, and if a strong acid is added, the reaction between the strong acid and the sulfide is much more product favored than a reaction between the sulfide and a weak acid. Thus, a strong acid added to this precipitate in water would have a noticeable effect in driving the equilibrium forward by reducing the concentration of the sulfide ion, therefore increasing the solubility of the precipitate. 